Hello, this is part six of our tutorial. We are where we create uh, an interactive web application. And in this part, we'll be creating animation for the drawer of our nightstand. So let's switch to Blender and add a uh, add a timeline window so how do we do this we can split our viewport window make it a bit less we'll need it later so split and switch it to switch it to timeline so we are now in animation timeline we can move our with the right mouse button on this timeline so in order to create an animation for our drawer object we should select it and uh, go to frame zero although this is not a requirement of virtual day but i prefer uh, like uh, rounded numbers so zero looks good and click our object animation insert keyframe so we can actually use our shortcut i or use the menu so insert keyframe click and we needed to just move so we don't need rotation scaling and there are some combinations we only want location so let's select location right and we notice that here uh, keyframe is appear appeared and it also uh, colored our location uh, coordinates in the transform panel so uh, we just fix it uh, the closed position of our drawer at frame zero so let's make it uh, let's move our current frame to 30 and add uh, another key for the open it position so in in order to do this let's open uh, by using the move tool let's open the drawer how we want it so let's let's make it like this let's open and use the shortcut I and add another location keyframe so now when we move on the timeline uh, our drawer is animated it's cool uh, we can run the playback here and see that it works um, and we can check it in the browser right it works uh, by repeating the animation um, and uh, starts automatically we don't want it to, to to start automatically so let's disable it go to object panel and scroll down to virtual 3d settings and disable auto start disable it and now it will just uh, be not animated at all because we want the animation to be triggered by user actions by clicking on the drawer and we'll show it in the next part for now that's it with animation thanks for watching